Protests in support of Palestine happened outside of the White House as President Joe Biden met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Free, free, free it was the second straight day of demonstrations as Netanyahu addressed Congress. Thousands of mostly peaceful protesters filled the streets. When they hit Union Station, things took an anti-American and anti-Israeli turn. The American flag burned, a Palestinian flag was raised, and some of the graffiti read, Hamas is coming. A group of House Republicans, including the House Speaker, raised the American flag back up Wednesday night. We believe in this country. It is the greatest nation in the history of the world. It's the strongest, most powerful, most benevolent, uh, most free nation that has ever been. We should stand for that and stand with our allies and stand for freedom. That's what this flag represents. You could see that most of the graffiti had been wiped away after the National Park Service spent most of the day, less than 24 hours later, trying to clean up. The former president called for jail time for people who burned the flag. I think you should get a one-year jail sentence if you do anything to desecrate the American flag. Now, people will say, oh, it's unconstitutional. Those are stupid people. More than 20 people were arrested by multiple agencies. The over-the-top actions didn't land well with Democrats either. Vice President Kamala Harris called the flag burning and defacing of property despicable and unpatriotic. The House's Democratic leader said the aggressors should be held accountable. It is unacceptable to deface public property, desecrate the American flag, threaten Jews with violence, or promote terrorist organizations like Hamas. Unacceptable. Netanyahu's high-level talks could be consequential. White House officials say a ceasefire for hostages deal could be in the closing stages and an end to the almost 10 months long war in sight. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.